Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Noelle and I do unboxings, mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, but also some stationery, books, beauty, jewelry, travel, home decor, even a dash of Disney. So if you enjoy unboxings, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell. For those of you who are already subscribed, thank you so much for being here and welcome back. Today I am so excited to get to share with you another installment on Sophia's World Music Tour. This is an amazing monthly lifestyle travel destination box that really allows you to travel the world through music while supporting independent artists. This box has three different subscription tiers. There is the general admission, which is just $29.99, and that is basically the music. She puts so much effort and time into creating beautiful playlists that really represent the culture and the country. There's also the book bag, which is $59.99, which has items from that destination, and usually there are so many. It's an incredible value. What I highly suggest if you are able though is the full suitcase. That is what has been sent to me for review by Sophia and it is $130 but it includes everything in this box as well as a VIP experience with the featured artist or artists from that destination and I can tell you guys that is such an amazing experience to get to talk to them and also know that 10% of the proceeds of this box are going to help support those artists who have been so direly affected by the pandemic and all of the cancellations in their tours and performances which are just now starting to come back but I am so glad to hear that this box she's got it booked for months to come you guys and there are some awesome destinations on the docket if you are interested in subscribing you can use the code Noel just n-o-e-l and that will save you 20% on up to three renewals so pretty cool you guys let's go ahead and get into this box now I have to tell you that it always comes kind of bubble wrapped and this time the box itself was in this gorgeous gorgeous bag with all of this mirrored detail and this beautiful uh, embroidery on here. It's a nice thick bag so you can see there's a lot of space in it and it actually has a zipper closure which I absolutely love. It even has some zipper pockets but this is so beautiful. There are so many contents in this box you guys. I have to kind of rush through it but I will always show you over on Instagram lots of up close pictures so you can see the gorgeousness of this stunning stunning box. Now India is a country that I have had the pleasure of visiting. It's been over a decade since I went though and I was mostly in the south part of India because that is where my dear friend and roommate from grad school was living at the time and doing some research. I did have the opportunity to go up to Delhi. I did visit Mumbai for a very short time. Of course I went and saw the Taj but it is a beautiful beautiful country. So inside when you open it up the experience continues with so much gorgeous color and decoration. She always has like a little bundle on the top that's got kind of a uh, keychain is usually there So you can kind of see you guys it looks like we have a different kind of compass this time Which actually I think like opens up instead So I always just love all the little details that she has in here you guys And this time our blinged out keychain is of course a peacock Which is sort of the symbol or one of the many symbols of India And I kind of love these bejeweled uh, keychains I'm not sure what I'm going to do with all of them But I will figure it out eventually I've now been like kind of stockpiling them and then of course she has our little ticket which has her top three favorite songs on the playlist and then the playlist you get to it with a little QR code she does a really good job of using QR codes to give us more information and then here is our booklet that is going to tell us all about India. There's usually another little like passport that actually gives us the contents of the box, but maybe that's included inside of this booklet this time. So there is a quick note from Safiya. It says, welcome to India. I am so excited to do this beautiful country to the land of chai, spice, and everything nice. India, this box is dedicated to my grandfather in Trinidad and Tobago and some other places in the Caribbean and Guyana. The British, Dutch, and French took Indian people for indentured servitude to these islands. My grandfather is the descendant of that forced migration so our food and culture is a beautiful mixture of indigenous African Indian and more but the reflection of Indian culture is strong in our cuisine and culture I hope to bring you a taste of India right into your homes and then she goes on to thank all of the amazing vendors sometimes she actually gets things sent from the country or the local communities within the diaspora that are available to her it says that this suitcase box you got is the value is over $500 so that is is pretty amazing considering that then you also get that at home concert experience so then we have a nice table of contents again she does a really good job of trying to give us a little nice cultural overview and it kind of explains some of the items so here's some travel information some QR codes to tell us about um, 
the top 10 things to do about Delhi, about a Mumbai food tour, which I would definitely be going on some basic hindis like namaste um i think the only thing i remember is like tikka which was just like okay fine <laughs> we have information about the taj uh f food of course uh she's got some information about her favorite bollywood movies i have not watched a lot of bollywood in recent years but i just always love aishwari rai i think she's gorgeous and i always like love all of those fun colorful catchy movies even though i don't speak any hindi um and then we also have of course uh, India's animal symbols, which are the peacock and the elephant. She talks a little bit about the uh, holiday, the festival of lights, Diwali. And of course, uh, there looks like we got a little like lotus dia or a little lamp for that. Ah, uh, there's a musical instrument in this box, you guys, that I am very excited. And then it does tell us a little bit more about the featured artist, which this time is a gentleman named Ashwin, who is only 21 years old. That's awesome. I'm just looking it over. It says that he uh, started in EDM which is cool but he also has a classic rock guitar background so I'm curious to hear what some of his uh, music sounds like these days he has his favorite foods from home which include tosa which is one of my favorite things it's like a crispy savory crepe so delicious uh, she has some information about beautiful places to go including the Himalayas uh, and then some favorite musicians the playlist of course she's now calling uh, samosa music which is a pun for some awesome music which is cute and then in the back there is, of course, uh, like a word search. This is a great box to share with your family. Uh, and it does look like the next destination has been announced, you guys, and it is the Philippines. That is somewhere that I would absolutely love to go. Um, Palawan looks gorgeous. I have a lot of friends who've had the opportunity to visit there, and like I, I'm itching to go. Any uh, Southeast Asian country looks fun to me. All right, you guys. So much colorful stuff in here. Like I said, I go at a pretty quick clip so we can hopefully get through everything. We have another cute little pouch with some embroidery. It looks like a suede here on the back. Let me just make sure there's nothing in there because she does tend to hide things a lot. We have a cute little magnet with a bright little parrot of some sort. I have a USB cord that's probably gonna go along with some of the uh, fun travel gadgets that she always includes. So there's always items from the destination, but then there's always like a fun travel gadget or two like a cool selfie stick or you know we've gotten really cool items that you can definitely use or even just like travel toiletries which I thought was a really useful item that we received so let me see I'm trying to pull things out without um, totally ruining the whole box here so everything she managed to pack it all in one box this time so here is a nice uh, kind of satin embroidered case which I'm sure is going to include some goodies inside so indeed, oh my gosh, you guys, this is the musical instrument that is included. So it has this little like cushion that it's going to sit on top of. I love that it's this whole set. And then it is a singing bowl, but I have only ever seen them in just solid bronze. I have no idea what this Sanskrit on the outside says, but hopefully you guys know how singing bowls work. They are amazing in terms of just sort of setting the tone of an environment. And then when you kind of keep circling the rim, the sound grows they are stunning but look how beautiful this bowl is you guys if we have time towards the end I'll see if I can get that singing bowl going I usually have pretty good luck with it but you know I don't want to like waste our time since we have so many other things to unwrap all right so this looks to be I'm guessing this is a Bluetooth speaker and since the yellow matches I'm guessing that this is what this goes to so it does say yeah it looks like a Bluetooth speaker to me so we've gotten quite a few Bluetooth speakers they're a great gift to, to give to people as well and like a great summer item to have this is very hefty you guys I think it's another bag but it's like wow this is stunning I love this kind of like boho look so let me go ahead and pull it out of the packaging. Wow, this is so cool, you guys. Look at this. This is huge, and I think it's real leather, which this is amazing. Um, I love this tote. It's got like these fun like pom-poms and tassels on it. It's got feet on the bottom. It does feel like real leather. And then it's got adjustable straps with buckles. It does zipper closed, and there are a few slip pouches on the inside as well as a zipper pouch. This is really beautiful. I just love this like boho style. It 
it is a little bit weighty. This is why I think that it is actually real leather. So if you're a vegan, this is not the bag for you, but I love the sustainability and the durability of real leather bags. And this one really feels like it's going to hold a lot. And I just think that's kind of cool to have that sort of um, ethnic boho like accent to a very like simple outfit otherwise. I love this. Both of these bags are amazing. We have gotten such awesome, awesome bags from this subscription box. Love that, Sophia. That is an awesome item. Um, it looks like we've got some little like Desi Pops, little like candies in here. I'll put that off to the side. Then we've got a beautiful bejeweled little box right here. I'm wondering if that opens up. So nothing inside. I always have to double check though. It's got like little tiny seed beads on it, decorating it, which is so pretty. Don't want to mess them up though. Let's see what else we've got. I've got another one of them. I love all of these like little jewelry boxes. Jewelry is one of the things that I really enjoyed purchasing in India, of course. Um, lots of gorgeous, gorgeous silver. There was like a pair of, there was a ruby ring, you guys, which is my one thing that I did not purchase because I was trying to like watch my spending habits because I did spend a couple of weeks there. And now to this day, that ruby ring for me represents like no regrets in terms of shopping and buying souvenirs. Like just go for it because you'll want it. I love this cuff. It's kind of got like a lavender almost stone there. I think it would look really, really pretty a little further up on your arm if you had to like, you know, bend it open. Um, these earrings are super duper cool. So it's actually like caught on this um, matching necklace but let me see if I can undo it probably not so these spiral earrings are stunning and I love the little purple stone so those are gonna look so so cool I will these are totally the kind of things that I would absolutely pick up for myself and then there's also a matching necklace which is a little bit tangled up right now but let me just show it to you quickly you can see the chain is just kind of looped through there but it's a matching matching necklace and then there is the other earring kind of tang tangled up but it all came in that cute little box those pieces are beautiful the jewelry is almost always one of my favorite items in this box of course because it's the kind of souvenir that i pick up for myself when i am traveling myself we got something in a gold little box I'm guessing, oh, we have a little representative with an elephant. So in our last box, we got a really cool um, camel jewelry box. And this time we got a little elephant. Isn't he adorable with his little tusks? And then he just opens like this. Wow, that is so, so cool and orange and bright inside. Oh, and it's even a magnetic closure. That is awesome. Next, we have got something in a little black velvet pouch. This is so cool. You guys are probably like, you're going so fast. And I'm like, there is still so much more to see you guys. Um, something that like blows up. This is so interesting to me. So, oh, I think it's a neck pillow, you guys. So I think it's a travel neck pillow, but I think that it's got something in here. I'm not sure what this is. It's like got a little like air pouch. I will have to figure out what that is, but it's like so that you can, oh, it has a little snap too, which is nice because then you can loop your air pillow onto your bag or strap or something. I haven't no idea what this does you guys it'll probably like dawn on me like as soon as I'm done filming this but you guys let me know what this little guy is actually usually for I'm not really sure maybe it's just to help you like pump it up and get it a little bit puffier and more cushier all right so we almost always get a journal because journaling while traveling is something that is a great souvenir very personal one this one is so Stunning. Mine is bright yellow again with that really pretty kind of purplish stone and then it's got like this beautiful imprinted almost mandala design on the back. So let me see if I can get into this. It might be a little bit tricky but hopefully I can show it to you. Love this. So this also looks like um, handmade paper or that very like thick but also soft paper so you kind of have to watch what you use in terms of writing on it. So not a super sharp pen and not a super inky one. With this better often with pencil. But this is, you can actually see that there's actually cord woven through that cover. That is so cool. And I kind of like the bright yellow, honestly, even though I do like my more demure colors. Sometimes I like that pop of brightness. All right, something else that is very, very heavy. I think this is our little lamp, our little Dia. So it looks like it got a little bit mushed in the process. So it is on the back of an elephant that kind of looks like a flattened out turtle. But I believe that when you twist this, the, the petals should open up. 
So let's see, I don't know if they'll open up for us, but I will definitely get them open for over on Instagram when I take some photos, but it should open up slowly but surely, let me see. So you can kind of see the petals are slowly opening up as I unscrew it, and then, then it will be this beautiful lotus, and then it's got like a little, um, a little spot where you can put some oil, and then that's how you usually light a dia is just with a simple wick, but of course you could also put like a little mini candle in there too. So I'll have to play with that. I don't want to unscrew it so much that the uh, petals like come out of the base, but you can kind of see it. It is starting to open up. That is so cool. It's very heavy. I feel like it's probably bronze. So I'll have to like, there we go. Almost got it all the way open, you guys. That is such a beautiful piece. Really quality items, honestly, this time. Um, so then at the bottom, we still have a little bit more. So here's our user manual. I think that is probably for that Bluetooth speaker. Yeah, that's what I'm guessing. It doesn't actually say what it is, but I'll figure it out. Um, it's just, a, and then finally, it looks like maybe this is a pillowcase. I definitely bought some pillowcases when I was in India. It is. So it has a nice zipper on the back, this beautiful satin. This royal blue is stunning. And we've got both elephants and peacocks on there. So both of those um, symbols of India represented. I always like the uh, trivia question of what is the national sport of India. And most people think, you know, they think it's cricket, but it is not. Um, so let me show you guys some postcards that are also in here. We have one that is beautiful, of course, with a card of an elephant and then here of course is our artist which is always featured as well and I think that might be all of the main items and then we always for our VIP experience and this is where the full suitcase box gets its name is from this adorable little suitcase which I am also collecting because of all of these amazing boxes and inside there is a note from the artist. It says, hi everyone, I hope you're having an amazing August and I'm super excited to share my music and culture with you. There's so much I have to share with you and I'm eternally grateful for this opportunity. Through this box, you will find a lot of my musical creations as well as some cool tips about a future vacation to my home country, India. This is just the beginning of our journey together and I hope you stick around to see how my sound evolves and where my music will take me. All the love, Ashwin. I love that and it is handwritten. That is so so cool then we have a nice uh, little ticket again with the uh, QR for the playlist and then she does this really cool thing where she has this little cassette but it's actually uh, a USB so then it pulls out and this is where you can get the artist's music and then there's even a cute little like uh, post-it thing where you can say like today's playlist but you can like put your top songs on there and then this is just like a really cute little um working kind of suitcase the wheels actually work you guys the little handle even comes up so I always just think that's like a really sweet touch, but I'm still I'm still taking suggestions for what to do with it. But let's see if we can get our singing bowl to go, you guys. So usually you wanna hit it on the outside and then start to get it to go, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to hit it hard enough and hold it in my hands because my hands will kind of like dampen the sound too much. So I usually like to have it on a bass, but I think that this will be beautiful. It actually has a deeper sound than I was expecting for such a small bowl. So I used to have like a big set and I love using these. Again, they are so like calm people even do like healing uh, ceremonies with them. Interestingly enough, when I went to India, it was before I actually became a yoga teacher. So I kind of love the fact that I got to experience it without that additional lens. Um, of course, I would love to go back. That is a country that I would love to visit more of and see more of because there are so many amazing, beautiful cities with their own distinct character and culture and so many languages there too. I always thought that was one of the most amazing elements. So I love the singing bowl I think it is beautiful the fact that it comes in its own little like case so you can take it where you need to go to set your intentions is awesome love the little travel items but of course my favorite this time is the beautiful earrings I love that whole set with the necklace the bracelet um, and the uh, amazing bag I love of course the one that the whole box came in but this leather bag you guys with all of this detail is just gorgeous I really really love this and I would spend a bunch of money on a bag like this you all let me know what you thought about this box in the comments below what your favorite item was if you had the opportunity to visit India again it is a gorgeous gorgeous country um, I now am craving Indian food I thought we'd have a little bit more in terms 
tons of Indian flavor, but maybe that's one of the items that was got caught up in customs for a little bit. I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing. In the meantime, please do check out this subscription. It is so fantastic. What she is doing is so amazing and so unique, and she could definitely use all of your support. I'll see you soon.